Well, the Chicago River is known as an engineering victory and a tourism gem here in the city. That means a lot of work has gone into trying to clean it up in recent years. The latest effort includes a trash trap that's finding all the things Chicagoans are leaving behind. More than 80% of what they're finding is plastic. But this trash trap is offering some insight on environmental policies that may be needed as well. Joining us now to talk more about it is Margaret Frisbee, the executive director of Friends of the Chicago River. Thanks for being with us. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Well, first of all, I guess describe for us what it, what the trash trap is and how it works. Sure. You know, so the trash trap is a technology that is really designed for our bays and harbors. But at Friends of the Chicago River, we figured out how to adapt it to the Chicago River system so we could understand what kind of trash is in the river and really get some data so we can work on policies to reduce it. So the trash trap is basically it's a floating catch, a floating barrel with a catch bin in it and a submersible pump. And the pump draws water from the river in and sucks in the trash that's in the water, unfortunately, and then pumps the water out and then it's emptied, you know, lifted out and emptied into a bigger barrel where it can be collected and sorted later to understand what, what it is. And I know that a lot of the tourists on the boats there have been asking, what's that thing? <laughs> what is that? Uh, but That's, yeah, you yeah. said, yeah, you said you've been using it for research. So you're collecting some things. What, is, how does the research help you down the road? Absolutely. So um, Friends has been working with Loyola University Chicago uh, since 2018 and trying to understand the composition of the litter. And what happens is students from Loyola who work with Dr. Tim Holine, who's uh, uh, the main researcher, basically they take it and they look at it and they evaluate what the things are. And as you mentioned, it's 80% plastic. And of 80% of that is actually food waste. So that's bottles, that's cups, that's you know small bits and pieces of polystyrene, things that come from food and do not belong in the Chicago River system. And you don't think people are throwing it in the river. I assume this is just litter across the city that ends up getting blown into the river. Yeah, absolutely right. So, you know, it's interesting, the composition over time, you know, we have an annual event, Chicago River Day. We have thousands of volunteers out collecting trash. And it used to be the river was a dumping ground. And that really doesn't happen anymore, which is terrific good news. But this food waste problem is enormous. And it's windblown. It can come in through combined sewers on the occasions that that happened. But it's, it's incidental. And so we have to look at the systems that inform the trash rather than the trash itself. Okay, you said we have to look at the system. So, yeah, the question becomes, what do we do? Have you been able to come up with any of those answers? Well, you know, we have. So we've been working for as part of the um, Illinois Plastic Coalition. And this year, a, a new rule was passed where the state agencies will stop using polystyrene, like food foam, you know, when you get yeah. food to go at lunch and, and use paper products instead, which can be much better, definitely, because they're not plastic and they're not um, based on uh, 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 oil and product, mm -hmm. you know, petroleum products. But it's also just looking at the systems. You know, you could go to a restaurant and you don't need the plastic bag, the box of your food yeah. comes in. You can avoid single use plastics. And we can work with, you know, businesses and government agencies to just basically, you know, you always hear the terms reduce, reuse, recycle. Well, let's start with reduce. That word has to be right. way bigger. And recycle is way down here, right? And so you're reducing the waste stream overall. And that's gonna impact our communities, it's gonna impact our wildlife, and it's gonna impact our Chicago River. We just have a few seconds left, but hearing you talk reminds me of a couple of years ago, I think it was under Mayor Emanuel, uh, they made you start paying if you wanted a plastic bag, hoping to reduce people's plastic bag mm -hmm. usage in the city. Does that mean you're now seeing fewer plastic bags ending up in the river? You know, fortunately, unfortunately, we were not already doing this deep dive into data at that point. Okay. I do know as we find litter, we are not finding the plastic bags that you would have, you know, on a traditional Chicago River Day. So I don't have technical data, but the appearance is anecdotally, absolutely. So it is definitely working. So interesting. Okay, Margaret Frisbee, always great to talk to you. If you want to find out a little bit more, we're going to post some information on our website, WGNTV.com. Happy Friday. We'll talk to you again soon.